What is VRIO analysis? Well, this is part of strategy development, and more specifically, VRIO is an acronym for a tool used to conduct internal analysis of a firm. That is, you're looking specifically at its internal resources and capabilities. Okay, so VRIO itself stands for Valuable, Rare, Inimitable, and organization and this acronym guides you through the process of evaluating or analyzing internal resources and capabilities you're trying to determine whether any internal resource or capability has these characteristics and if you can do so it allows a firm to identify the specific resources and capabilities that have the ability to create some form of competitive advantage or at a bare minimum amount to a core competency for the company so with that being said it's a framework it's an approach that will help you identify valuable resources and capabilities so that you can exploit those in a way to establish a competitive advantage in the marketplace so what does each of these elements mean so valuable basically it says that if a resource is valuable that it is capable of being used or the firm can exploit it in some way to negate any threats out there in the external environment Others may say it could be used to take advantage of existing opportunities in the external environment. So either to negate threats or to take advantage of opportunities. Okay, next, rare. That is, it's not common to all the competitors or other companies that are operating in the marketplace. So having this item, having this resource, having this capability allows you some form of advantage over them because you are able to use it freely where they do not have this resource or cannot ex employ this capability readily. Next would be inimitable. Now, if you have a resource, oftentimes these resources can be copied or imitated in some way by a substitute product. That is, other companies do not have that resource, so they use a different type of resource to imitate the value that the resource or capability delivers for you. Well, if the resource is rare and it's also inimitable or very difficult to copy or imitate, then again, it strengthens your position with regard to that resource. It's even more difficult for the competitors out there in the environment to copy what you're doing or to create the same value. Now, there are numerous types of inimitability. It can be based upon historical conditions. That is, it takes a long time or historical happenings in order to give rise to the resource. So to copy it would be very difficult. You could think about precious metals in this way. Causal ambiguity, that is, it's very difficult for others to identify the resource that is giving rise to advantage. So th if they can't identify why you have an advantage and how it's linked to a specific resource or capability, it's going to be difficult to copy that resource or capability. And then last, lastly, social complexity. And this is where the resource or capability is somehow generated through the internal environment of the organization, the culture, the interactions, the network, that type of thing. And as we know, social uh, networks and uh, culture in particular in a firm tend to be very unique and thus very difficult to imitate. And then lastly, organized. That is, the firm itself needs to be organized in a manner so that it is capable and prepared to take advantage or exploit the resource or capability that has been identified as valuable, rare, or imitable. This basically means that you give authority and decision making to the right people, you make the resource available in the right method or manner, and you allocate human personnel and other things appropriately so that the firm is adequately structured and organized such that it can employ these resources in a way that gives rise to either a core competency or some advantage in the competitive marketplace. So this is a VRIO analysis and how it's used as part of strategy development.